perhaps not, but it, it, it was pleasant. And, and it's extremely pleasant sitting here now because I think there's something extraordinarily nice about seeing the dawn up before one goes to bed because there's something uncanny about it when it suddenly becomes light because one connects darkness with going to bed, surely. Um, and, and when one is still up, it becomes light. And it's a new day and you still haven't gone to bed to sleep because the night equals sleep so easily. And when one is still up, when the new day begins, it is something of an intriguing experience I always find. I, I can look out the window now and, 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 and look at that tree over there is green. Whereas before one goes to bed, just before one goes to bed, but a tree should be black, surely. Everything should be black. Before one goes to bed, that, that is surely the essence of the whole matter. This is the only known recording of Nicholas Rodney Drake talking, a songwriter who struggled through his life and died an early death at the age of 26. While many people look for clues to who Nick Drake was behind his music, however, I will focus on what we already know him to be, as he had poured his heart into his music his whole life. Why look for more if we could just listen to what's here already? Nick grew up in Warwickshire in England with his musically interested parents Molly and Rodney Drake and his older sister Gabrielle. He did well in school and enjoyed engaging in sports as well as music both at school and in his free time. Despite for his nice upbringing, however, he never truly seemed to feel happy. He always got recognition for his looks, as he was about 6.3 feet tall, but never for who he was as a person, and for the thing he loved the most in life, which was music. A local plane to turn around and come back again And at the chime of a city clock I put up your road clock I hang on to your ground For a stone in a tin can Is wealth to the city man Who leaves his arm down Music seemed to be the only outlet Nick, who almost never said anything, had to express his thoughts and feelings. He played on several cafes and clubs during his life, but stopped for good one evening after storming out mid-set because the audience always struggled paying attention to his work. He also released three albums, but they didn't do well. Nick Drake had many inspirations. John Renborn, Jackson C. Frank, Bernd Johns, Mozart, and poet William Blake. His mother Molly also had a huge impact on his music, as she constantly wrote during his upbringing, and is said to be the source of where Nick got his style from. But like his mother, I think Nick Drake's biggest influence of them all was nature. Never understood by other people, Nick always felt at home in nature. Especially those parts of it no one else seemed to pay attention to. And that's what I think Nick Drake tried to give his listeners also. A source of understanding. Hope in a world where nothing seems to be working out. His music was never about himself, but rather the help he could offer others. But because people never seemed to listen, he was like dying nature, people refused to water. When 
the game's been fought Newspaper blown across the court Lost much sooner than you would have thought Now the game's been fought When the part is through Seems so very sad for you Didn't do the things you meant to do Now there's no time to start a new Now the part is through When the day is done Down to earth then sinks the sun Along with everything that was lost and won 